this workshop is focusing on the applications of plasmas for cancer. Uh, this is one of the most important and dramatic applications of plasmas in the entire field of medicine. And I think uh, clearly the field has advanced and I think uh, the participants learned a lot about the state of the art uh, in the field today. The workshop is very interesting because that's when we get to meet mm. all the people who are working in the field and they can communicate with each other, network with each other, and we learn from each other, uh, you know, what's the latest. Uh, so I think that's, that's extremely important. I think it's great organization, good selection of speakers, and uh, wonderful results. Very encouraging. Uh, this workshop uh, in uh, Greifswald was uh, really uh, very interesting because we learned a lot of new results that, and a lot of unexpected, you know, advances that uh, we didn't uh, know before. So I think it's very beneficial for the attendees, for for all of us. As I said, um, it's a very interdisciplinary community um, and you learn so much because of the, the discussions with, with other researchers, with medical doctors and with biochemists and this I think makes it unique and as a plasma scientist I learn a lot so this makes it unique from other also because it's a small community like about 100 people so uh, there's a lot of discussion uh, compared to some larger conferences this one is very focused only on plasma for cancer and that's why I like it it's one of my favorite workshops I would say the, the workshop has been a big success uh, we had uh, many good speakers from here in Germany also international speakers and uh, we've been very happy with, with the results I think it's been stimulating it's been informative and people have learned a lot you can you know enjoy every talk and discuss uh, uh, with uh, close colleagues, where there is not multiple sessions that you have to decide which one to go. So it's very concentrated and I think the, the science has been really high quality. Uh, and, it, and it's all, you know, uh, there for, uh, for the attendee to enjoy and to participate. And, and I think people like, like that. Our, our goal was always to get a lot more medical experts involved, more than physicists. Uh, the plasma definitely works. It's, it's clearly therapeutic. There's no question about that. I think the real question now is how can we use the unique properties of plasma uh, to achieve particular therapeutic aims? This, I think, is the challenge of the field today. Besides the clinical studies going on already, I think some more fundamental basic research is still needed to better understand the underlying mechanisms and also the mechanisms of the selectivity because of course if you use a high dose it will kill all cancers, all cells, not only the cancer cells. So I think it's important to uh, yeah, also study the mechanisms for the selectivity and then tune the conditions. Well, so I, I think we are getting into uh, very rapidly in, into the uh, clinical uh, studies, uh, you know, INP and uh, uh, this uh, medical uh, hospital doing a lot of clinical work. We are starting our clinical study in US and uh, um, I hope we, over several years we will be getting uh, you know, a lot of data that uh, would help to uh, you know, to promote this uh, new technology. So we have applications in use worldwide in Asia, for instance in the United States, in Japan and in Europe of course. Um, then we need a successful multi-center clinical trial with more than 1,000 patients, which is also well known and necessary. And uh, at the very end, we have to have uh, standardized and comparable plasma sources. If all this is fulfilled, then I would say we have a breakthrough. Uh, I think in general, it is necessary to have again the knowledge about the therapy option. If the patient doesn't know, if the medical doctor doesn't know that there is an option to work with plasma, then it will not have a success. Um, 
The next one is um, we need a payment of the health insurance. So at the moment there is a big question who pays for the therapy. Uh, I think this is this is very important and interesting and also unique venue of very uh, small uh, uh, field, small number of dedicated participants in this niche area of plasma application for specifically for cancer that allow very detailed uh, talks, very detailed exchanges and discussions that uh, may not be achieved in large scope conference. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a way to bring uh, top researchers in the field in one place for a short period of time and uh, exposed to new results and, and generate new ideas mm -hmm. and, and new problems. Mm -hmm. So I think this is probably the, the optimal way to do it. So I would want to really congratulate your team for putting this together. I think it's, it's very successful. Uh, we have there a leading position be, together with others and we would like to share also this knowledge uh, to make, give more progress to the development of plasma medicine in the future years. The most important challenge is to attract more uh, medical doctors, to, to attract as many doctors as possible. The problem is that uh, good doctors, they are already doing good stuff. And uh, bad doctors, they don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's uh, not the best doctors they are choosing plasma. Well, the best doctor is not soldier. That's actually more like a European challenge to bring more doctors. Next workshop will be in Antwerp, and uh, we are looking forward to uh, to see how uh, this field will develop. And uh, I think with with significant impact from this particular workshop, we probably will see uh, expansion of this field mm. by, by the next year. Mm.